Good evening. You're watching Hungary Reports, kicking off public media and one's foreign language news broadcast. I'm Arsha Film. Thanks for joining us. Due to the outbreak of the Russian-Ukrainian war, more than 800,000 refugees have spent longer and shorter periods of time in Hungary so far. It was said in a video posted by the government spokesperson on her social media platform. Two mothers and their children talk about what it was like to leave their home and how Hungary helped them. The two children were able to participate in the Fino World Water Championships. They also took part in a medal ceremony of the synchronized swimming competition where the Ukrainian team had finished their performance with a gold medal. In her post, the government spokesperson wrote, it is only peace that can be the answer to war. Peace is the only solution. Europe's leftist parties in close cooperation with the Hungarian left are jeopardizing the security of Europe's energy supply. Damas Deutsch, member of the European Parliament of Hungary's ruling Fidesz, spoke about this in connection with the vote set for Wednesday by the European Parliament, adding that a proposal by Europe's leftist parties to prevent natural gas and nuclear energy from being classified as green would endanger the security of energy supplies for the EU and cause a price of energy to skyrocket. Record. Data from human rights organizations show that 360 million Christians live in parts of the world where they are subjected to threats, discrimination or persecution, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade said in London. At a ministerial conference on the freedom of religion and belief, Peter Sieta said that the Hungarian government considered support for Christian communities an important task, thus contributing to the freedom of religion. Christianity is currently the most persecuted religion in the world, he added. And on June the 10th, three cleaners working in Puskás Arena stole the autographed jersey of Carles Puyol, Spanish footballer, former team captain of FC Barcelona, from one of the rooms of the sport institution. Two weeks later, the thieves offered the precious memorabilia for sale on advertising site on the Internet. Disguising themselves as buyers, the police arranged a meeting with the advertisers who got handcuffs instead of money. Puyol's jersey was thus returned to its rightful owner, the Pushkash Arena. That's all for now, but I'll be back tomorrow at night at around the same time, and you can catch Hungary Reports online as well. Please stay tuned and watch our German, Russian, and Chinese language news. Thanks for watching. Take care. Good night.